In the previous lesson, I've provided some information about G-code. There will be some more information in this lesson. In block 10, we have a comment that will be visible on the machine's desktop. We can include various useful information there. In blocks 20 and 30, we have the G functions. This is the preparatory G functions. G 90 is absolute positioning. G 40 is tool radius compensation of. G 80 is the end of standard cycles. And G 71 in this case means the use of metric units millimeters. Both of these blocks are written rigidly. This means that they will be generated in each machining program. It is a kind of security reset settings, for example, from the previous program. And then in the block 40, we call the tool number 4 with the tool radius compensation value from block number 4. M03 is the right spindle speed. In the block 50, we have the spindle speed setting at 999 RPM. H04 is the tool length compensation value. It will be read from field 4 from the tool table in the machine. M06 is a tool change command. The next line we have in it a quick move G0 for certain XY coordinates. Next, G43, this is enable tool length compensation, move G0 because it was not cancelled. If no other movement appeared, all the time the moves will be fast. G0 to Z25, repeat the tool length offset and this function M09 means just turning off the coolant. M08 is the coolant on. In the next line, we have a fast move to the Z5 coordinate. Fast move because we still have G0 function active. And in the next line, we have the linear movement G1 with the feed rate value 200 and the move in the Z axis to the Z minus 18 coordinate. The contour machining will be performed in the work movement. Lines from 100 to 200 describe the shape of the toolpath. In the meantime, the G2 command appears, which means the circular movement of the tool in a clockwise direction. G3 is the circular movement of the tool counter clockwise. There is also a variable R, which is the size of the radius at which the tool moves. In block 260, we have the tool retraction with rapid G0 movement to the Z25 coordinate. In the next block, switching of the coolant. And next block, end of the program and return to the beginning. The percent sign means the end of the data, the end of the machining program information. 
So that it was more or less what the machining programs look like and what it is all about, as in the future there will be references to the NC programs.